At the Olympic Games, getting your hands on certain keepsakes can be just as difficult as getting tickets to the biggest events. And this year is no different. NBC6 reporter Mike Redding joins us now live from Salt Lake City. And Mike, what's the hot commodity out there? Well, Russ, it all started when the American athletes marched into opening ceremonies wearing this odd little number. People just flipped out. Uh, they line up every morning, thousands of them, trying to get their hands on one if a new shipment comes in. One guy took a swing at a clerk when they ran out again. I'm telling you, something just isn't right here at the 2002 Winter Olympic Games. I actually thought I'd be probably the first one here because I came so early. Who would stand in line for this? At the Winter Olympics, long lines are the norm. What are you doing here? <laughs> I don't know. There's a line. <laughs> you thought you'd get in it? That's right. <laughs> but this long line is certainly the weirdest. It's unbelievable. I had no idea we'd see anything like this. Believe it or not, this is the line to buy a beret. Are there any men here buying berets for themselves? Got one for me. Ah! <laughs> I heard 10 o'clock this morning, so I figured if I'm here at 9.30, no problem. I don't believe we're wrong. <laughs> Your daughter? daughter. Your daughter. Are you going to wear a beret? No. What's going to happen when all these guys from other cities start wearing these berets when they go home? <laughs> They'll get their butt kicked by their friends. <laughs> you have a hat like this, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. This is a real hat right here, isn't <laughs> oh, it? Oh, hey, yeah. I swear this thing's alive. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. A, that's a real man's head. <laughs> you want to try this on? Yeah. That's it's it. warm. It's Feel how warm. warm this thing is. Do you ever wake up in the middle of the night and catch your hat drinking out of the toilet? <laughs> I could only find one guy willing to admit that he's going to wear the beret. You know, you look big enough to beat me up easily. That's right. Yeah. If you say anything about it. <laughs> So, so the rule here is a, a very, very large man and those in the military can wear the beret, but the rest of us just look goofy in it. We're live in Salt Lake City, Mike Redding, 6 News. I'm curious, Mike, if you are lucky enough to get one of them, what do they go for? Uh, they were selling for $19.95. They went up to $25. Bucks. Now they're back at $21 or $22. And this hat actually belongs to my photographer's wife. And I hope she doesn't mind me getting it all sweaty. <laughs> I like the other one better. I really do. I've gotten kind of used to that one. <laughs>